what it means to be a man. Keeping God's commandments. One of the commandments you are breaking, my brother, is your beard. Right. You gotta grow your beard out. I want to show you what it means to be a man in today's society, right? According to the scriptures. But read this real quick. Read that. First Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 9. Uh -huh. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. So the Bible says that the unrighteous, those that break God's commandments, will not receive eternal life. Contrary to popular belief, which Christianity teaches, right? Keep reading. Be not deceived. Uh -huh. Now you're fornicating. Uh -huh. You're idolatry. Neither fornicators, so you having sex, different women, different men, right? Animals, that's going into fornication, right, Reed? Your daughter, your effeminate, your what? Your effeminate. So my brother, I see an effeminate spirit on you, my brother. You know what it means to be effeminate? What does it mean to be effeminate? Do you know? You understand that? Yeah. You gotta stand up as a man. America has taught us that we're below, we're beneath everybody. The black man is the bottom of society. We're the bottom of the barrel. You need to stand up as a strong black man, an Israelite man. Yeah, you gotta shake that spirit, my brother. You gotta send that spirit on you, my brother. Get first Kings chapter two and verse two. And Leviticus chapter twenty-one. Do you cut cut into your beard, my brother? What? Do you mar into your beard? You don't mar into your beard? I shake it up, You shake it up. All right, your, your natural line is above that. I'm, I'm going to show you something because the laws of God are spiritual. When you mar into your beard, that puts that spirit on you. When you grow your beard up, that's a sign of manly dignity. That's a manly badge. Christ had a beard. The Most High God has a beard. We are made in the image of God. We have to have beards as men. Read that. First Kings 2 and 2. First Kings chapter 2 and verse 2. Read that, my brother. Yeah. Let me ask you something. Do you deal with men? Be honest. So you don't deal with men? Yes or no? Do you deal with men? No, you don't. Read that. First Kings 2. two. First Kings chapter 2 and verse 2. Uh -huh. I go the way of all the earth. Uh -huh. Be not strong, therefore. It shall thyself a man. So you had our forefather. Speaking to his son, saying, Be strong, therefore, show thyself a man. David was speaking to Solomon. He said, Show yourself as a man. Keep reading. And keep the charge of the Lord thy God Read. to walk in his way, Read. to keep his statutes, uh -huh. and his commandments, Read. and his judgments, uh -huh. and his testimonies, uh -huh. as it is written in the law of Moses, uh -huh. that thou mayest prosper in all that thou doest. So that's how we show ourselves as men, by keeping the commandments of God. That's so right. So you are a Christian, my brother. Levit Leviticus 21 and 5. Read that. Leviticus chapter 21 and verse 5. Leviticus chapter 21 and verse 5. This is what it means to be a man. Keeping God's commandments. One of the commandments you are breaking, my brother, is your beard. Right. You gotta grow your beard out. Right. That's why you got that effeminate spirit on you. It's time to man up, my brother. Stand up as an Israelite man. Leviticus 21 and verse 5. Read. Leviticus chapter 21 and verse 5. Read. It shall not be boldness upon their head. The Bible says not to make boldness upon our heads as the Israelites. That is a European custom that they adopted from the Egyptians. We adopt that today as black and Hispanic men and we bald our heads. God said not to do that. That's why you show yourself as a man. Keep reading. Neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. Neither shall they do what? Shave off the corner of their beard. So my brother, you said that you are a Christian, correct? The Bible just said that you are not to march to the corner of your beard. So what are you supposed to do? Grow your beard out. Yes. Grow your beard out. Romans chapter 7 and verse 14. Now I'm going to show you that that law is spiritual because I made a point. When you march into your beard, my brother, what's your name? Jeroquan. Jeroquan. My brother, I didn't get your name. Jeroquan and Alex. So I made a point. When you break the laws of God, my brother, it's spiritual. And I said it put that effeminate spirit on you. I, I can see you, the way that you're talking is like real feeble, my brother. You got to stand up as a man of God. You and Israel like man, you, God chose the people. Right. You are God's chosen people. Jesus Christ looks just like you. Bring it up. What America told us about our state as men, we're far greater than that. They told us that we're bored during the time of slavery. This is what they did to our ancestors. 
This is how they feminized us as men. They used to butt break our ancestors. Bring it out. They used to rape the men during the time of slavery. Right. And we still carry that trauma today as black men. Bring it out. It's time to man up. We need brothers that's going to raise up the nation of Israel. Right. It is time to man up. Right. Read that. Romans 77 and verse 14. Right. But we know that the law is spiritual. The laws of God are spiritual. God's laws are spiritual. Read. But I, eternal, souls under sin. Now go to Proverbs chapter 8 and verse 4. Again, I made the point. The, the laws of God are spiritual. So when you are modeling into your beard, when you are cutting, your head off, make your parts in your head, your bald in your head, it puts a spirit on you. It puts a spirit on you. And you know who allows that? This image right here. This image that's pushing Christianity. Brother, you said you were a Christian. I guarantee this is in your church. This image is in your church. Am I lying? You don't go to church? Okay, you don't go to church. But this image is in the Christian church, correct? This image is not biblical. Right. This is not in the Bible. Right. You cannot show me in the Bible where Christ is a Caucasian European man with blonde hair and blue eyes. It is not in the Bible. Right. But our people worship this image. Right. They glorify this image. Right. And that's what puts that spirit on that effeminate spirit where we don't want to stand up as men. Bring it out. Proverbs Chapter 8, verse 4. Read it Y'all need this message today. Right. Y'all brothers need to hear this. Right. Read that. Unto you, O oh men, I call. Alex, God is calling you today to stand up man for me. My brother, God is calling you today to stand up man for me. Right. Y'all will not learn this understanding in the Christian church. Right. You will learn it in Islam, Buddhism, Mormonism, Seventh day Adventist, the Baptist church. They will not teach you this understanding. Read right. it one second, I'll finish that. Unto you, O oh men, I call, Great. and my voice is to the sons of men. That's right. You gotta fly our numbers on the back of that fly. You, you gotta shake that feminine spirit, my brother. You got an effeminate spirit on you, my brother. It's time to stand up man for you. Right. Come back to who you are. It's a lot according to the Bible. Right. Change your ways. Right. Grow your beard out, man. Grow your beard out. The black and Hispanic man is weak as hell today. It's time to stand up as the Israelite man and That's take this right. uncle. That's right. What is a nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is 